Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with episode 283 of Ask Dave. Today we're going to talk about an interesting little device that's been around for a while, but I learned about only a few years ago. Uh, this particular one is from MFJ. You can see right here, it's the MFJ916B. It's called a duplexer. And I'm going to show you what that can do. Let's look at the overhead. This is the little device right here. Um, it's a, it says common here. The MF, that, that common goes with this. This 1.3 megahertz to 225 megahertz goes here. And 350 to 540, in other words, the 70 centimeter handband goes here. Now let me tell you what this thing is for. If you put it this way, you can put an antenna out here that is, uh, let's say, 144 and uh, 440. So it's 2 meters and 70 centimeters. Then here, you can put a 2 meter radio. Okay. This is the most common way it's used. And here you can put a 440 radio or 70 centimeters. You can have two radios going to a dual band antenna. These radios are completely independent of each other. You can talk on one and listen on the other and back and forth and you get the separation of these inside this little diplexer. So out over here we have the common antenna. Now if you want, you can do exactly the reverse, which is how I'm going to use it. Okay. So over here, I'm going to have a dual band radio. Dual band, which would be 2 meters, 70 centimeters. Coming in here, and then over here, I've got a UHF Yagi, the 10 element Yagi I got some time ago. And over here, you can put a J pole or a disc cone or a two meter antenna of some sort that you can do this way. And that works too. That, uh, if you have a separate antenna for the 70 centimeters, like I do, plus some, a J-pole that I have for two meters, you can put both radios on that. Now here's a little understood thing that we can do. Suppose over here we have a three-band radio, like the any tone ATD578 UV3 plus, which I have here in the shack for uh, review, uh, three band, and it would be two meters and uh, 1.25 meters, which is the 222 to 225 megahertz band, and then uh, it also has 70 centimeters which of course is the same as a uh, 0.7 meter band. It's generally referred to as 70 centimeter. Now I could put an antenna over here because it's 1.3 to 225 megahertz. I can put an antenna like a disc cone here which will take care of the two meters and the 70 I'm sorry, the 1.25 meters on a disc cone. And then when I need the UHF Yagi to reach something far apart, I can use that. So we have a three band radio over here. Two of the bands are covered here. And one of the bands, the 70 centimeter, is covered right there. I just thought I'd show you what's inside this thing because it's cool. You know, we get a look at the outside. Uh, this thing is heavy, quite heavy. 
I think it might be made of steel, but the reason for the heaviness is the shielding. The shielding that you get. It's got an aluminum bottom plate. Now it's this one I need to take out. These holes uh, where the screws are are tapped right into the metal. And you can see that there are various uh, coils that are orthogonal to each other. They're all perpendicular. Note how this one, the coil pieces have been pulled away a little bit from the ends. That's not a manufacturing defect. That's how these things are tuned. So that's what's inside of one of these. I've opened up mine so you don't have to. By the way, this bottom is not sealed, nor are the connectors. Um, so this is a very solidly manufactured little item. And uh, I commend MFJ for the build quality. And so we'll put this bottom back on. Now it's not sealed for moisture so this needs to be used in a sheltered environment like your shack or uh, something like that. And I'll just put these screws back in. They do make a version of this that is sealed that you can mount outside on a mast. But that was an extra 20 bucks or so, so that's ready to put into service, which I shall do uh, very quickly. So again, this allows the use of a, uh, a 2 meter and a 70 centimeter radio sharing an antenna, or a radio sharing two antennas, one antenna for UHF, one antenna for VHF. UHF technically starts at 300 megahertz, so that's VHF and HF. Now here is the page from MFJ where you can get it, and here is the page from DX Engineering where I got it. Um, I paid for this with channel funds, this was not a freebie, and uh, because I need it in my station. I'll uh, list a ref I'll list an annotation to it in the reference station. This is not necessarily part of the reference station because there are so many multiband antennas out there available now. So there you have it, the MFJ 916B duplexer. It's kind of a specialized piece of equipment, but it's nice to know that it's available and it's nice to know that the one from MFJ is so nice and solid. Do take a moment, if you would, to go to decastlercom slash support. See if anything there strikes your fancy. And until next time, 73.